rearranging speed and acceleration equations. Something I like to call the pyramid rule. The following pyramids that I'm gonna show you are really gonna help you understand how to rearrange the equations depending on what your question is asking you to find. So, if we're trying to find average speed, here is the average speed pyramid. So please make sure that you are able to remember the order that these letters appear, D, V, and T. And please be able to draw the pyramid. Now, we looked at average speed. So we looked at our VAV is equal to delta D over delta T. So we can ignore the a V, A, V, the, uh, the deltas here. And what we have here is, if we look at what this question is asking us, it's asking us to find our speed, our V value. So how do we use the pyramid? Well, whatever you're trying to find, so if we're trying to find V, cover up V. So we're gonna cover up V, and what we have is, we have D on top of T. And that translates to D divided by T. So notice how D is on top of T, just like it is in this pyramid. Now, let's look at the next one. We are trying to find our T value. So to find our T value, we want to find T. So what are we going to do? We're going to cover up T. So you're going to cover up T, and notice we have D on top of V which means our, to find our time, we're gonna take our distance and we're gonna divide it by our speed because D is on top of V whenever we are trying to find T. And in the last example here, if we're trying to find D, so we're gonna to try to find D. So, D is what we're trying to find. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up D. And we're trying to figure out what are the letters that are remaining. And notice here, we have V, which is side by side with T, which means that to find distance, we're going to take our speed value, our V value, and we're going to multiply it by our T value. So instead of memorizing one, two, three equations, remember this pyramid and remember how to use this pyramid. So what you want to do is, whatever you're trying to find, if you're trying to find V, cover up V. If you're trying to find T, if you're trying to find T, cover up T, and it's distance over divided by uh, our speed. If you're trying to find our distance, cover up, oops, cover up your distance and notice how V and T are side by side. So the operation is multiplication. The acceleration pyramid. Now, notice here, change in the letters. V on, is at the top, then A next to T. So if we're trying to find acceleration, these pyramids work the same way. So if we're trying to find A, cover up A. And notice here, we have V on top of T. So we're gonna take, in order to find our acceleration, we're gonna take our speed and we're going to divide it by time. Now over here, if we're trying to find time, We're trying to find time. We're going to cover up time. So when we cover up time, notice here the letters V is on top of A, which means to find time, we're going to take our V, which is our speed, and we're going to divide it by whatever our A value is. Now, for our last one, we're trying to find speed. We're trying to find our V value. So we're going to cover up V 
and we notice that A is side by side with T, which means to find our speed, our V value, we're going to take our A value, which is our acceleration, and we're going to multiply it by time. 